Hello everyone, it's Nadie and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. Today we are reviewing the fake versus the real everlasting Kat Von D liquid lipstick. As you know, this is about the product, not the people behind them. Whatever little ish you may have with them, please cast it away here because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Mini disclaimer time. So, if you saw my Jeffree Star versus Kat Von D liquid lipstick battle, which I'll link down below, you'll remember that the Jeffree Star lipstick looked really streaky and patchy on me. Now, I don't have a monitor, and I was just going based off what I saw in the mirror. In the mirror, it didn't look streaky at all. It looked perfect, but what you guys saw was a completely different story. So, my point is, you guys are the final judges. My opinion is one in a billion, and that's really not why we're here anyway. We're here to see the swatches, to see how they wear, and so on. So please don't judge me if what you see isn't what I see. Y'all see the bigger details, y'all are the judge, you guys have the overall opinion. Now on to the product. I got some from Sephora for $20 a piece and I got some from AliExpress for $1.70 a piece. In Sephora, I honestly just picked two random colors which were a Gogo and a Lolita. And of course, I bought the matching ones from AliExpress. First, we'll start with packaging. They both say Kat Von D, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Liquid Lipstick Rouge, I can't even read that language. 6.6 .6 milliliters. 0.22 fluid ounces. And on this side, they both have the same multi-language information distributed by Parkendo, San Francisco, California, 94105, made in Italy, and all that jazz. And the ingredients are exactly the same, of course. What's also the same is the SKU number and the barcode. Other than the fact that the fake's cardboard is a little bit more matte than the real, the only real difference is the sticker. That's a huge, huge difference. And opening these sassy boys up, they both seem to have that corner cut out. From what I can tell, the coloring is definitely off. Cat seems to be more vibrant, more rich, and the fake one is just a little bit more faded. But the tubes are legit exactly the same. They both have the name down there. They both have the holographic stenciling up there. The only difference is, like usual, the sticker. Cat's sticker is just a bit more clear and easier to read. And everything is the exact same for Lolita, it's just that the sticker is a bit different. However, with Lolita, Katz is almost the one that seems faded. The fake one has more of a reddish tint to it, so I guess it's up to you if you want um, more brown or more red. Now onto the fragrance. In my Jeffree vs. Cat video, I had a really hard time with this fragrance, and I would just gotten over the stomach flu, so everything was super sensitive to me. I didn't have a big issue with Jeffree's, but for some reason, this really turned me the wrong way. So I'm curious to know how it smells now that I'm healthier. I really can't smell anything. No, I, I can kind of smell something. To me, it kind of smells like spray on butter, but it's not offending me right now. The fake to me doesn't really have a smell. If anything, it's kind of like a faint plasticky smell. Here are the applicators. Cats has black in it and the fake one has white in it. Other than that, there's no huge gigantic difference. I guess Cats is a little, I want to say stubbier and the fake one is more slender, I'd say. But what's really weird to me is the fact that I can get the exact same packaging down to the barcode and SKU number for $1.70, including shipping from China to the US, while Katz is $20. Now, even if it costs Kat a dollar for the liquid lipstick inside the tube, which I highly doubt, she is making bank. Like, sign me the fuck up. Holy hell. Mm, money. Cosmetics and diapers are the smartest investments because they ain't going anywhere anytime soon, honey. All right, it's the moment that we've all been waiting waiting for it, swatchy swatchy time. You know the song, are you ready? It's swatching time. I'm not sure which one to pick first, so I'm just gonna shuffle them and, 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 uh, it's the real one. I went ahead and did a lip scrub before this. There's absolutely nothing on my lips. Some of you said that maybe the reasons they weren't drying before was because there was still product on my lips. So there's nothing on my lips now. We will see how it dries. All right, it's on, it applied nicely, smoothly. I will give it five minutes to dry. I'll set the timer right now. Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. Okay, we did it. It's been five minutes and it is still sticky. It's not uncomfortably sticky, but it is still sticky. So let's give it another five, I guess. Hey bitch, turn my timer on for five minutes, please. I'd blush if I could. Okay, so it's been a little over 10 minutes since I applied it, and it is still sticky. It's not, like, life-changingly awful, but it is definitely sticky. Like, it has a stickiness to it. So, a lot of you said that you can get them to dry completely matte, 
not sticky at all, please in the comments below tell me how you do that. I didn't have anything on my lips before. I let it dry for 10 minutes. Should I set it with setting powder? Actually, let's try. Okay, I'm gonna take some of Cody's translucent air spun powder and a wedge. Ew, this wedge is dirty. Hashtag dirty wedge. That sound nasty. Now, Cody and a clean wedge. Ugh, ooh, this doesn't taste good. That did the trick. That helped tremendously, like four billion times. It didn't seem to alter the color too bad. It, maybe it got a little bit lighter, but no, this is perfect. So satisfied. Yeah, that's cool. Now that I fine-a-fucking-ly figured out how to make this shit dry, let's do a kiss test. Nope, nothing. Pretty good. And I'd like to do an eat test. I know people typically would lose their lipstick with like a greasy food, but I don't really eat greasy food, so we're gonna try it with an apple. I don't know if that'll do anything at all, but it's really all I have right now, so. Fuji. Mmm, shit's good. Ignore my spittle, but there is a little bit of transfer right there. There's just a random ass line of it. But honestly, it looks the exact same on my lips. It's like full coverage, it's beautiful. I love this color, it feels lightweight, it's finally dry. I give it like 10 thumbs up. My world is literally turned upside down right now. Like what if all the other lipsticks that I tried could have been dried with translucent powder? Ooh, that was like a tongue twister. What if the ones I tried could have been dried? Ah, Dr. Seuss. Okay, so we know these lipsticks could basically look flawless through an apocalypse, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some oil and a makeup remover wipe and wipe it all off. In my Jeffrey vs. Cat video, I was actually scrubbing my lips so hard with a makeup remover wipe off camera that it was giving me a rash on my bottom lip and it lasted for like a week after. So yes, I guess they're like long lasting, but if a product that's supposed to remove it can't, that's just like too harsh for me for removal. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I would call long lasting. Perfect, and I'll make sure there's absolutely no residue of the makeup remover wipe on my lips. Now on to the fake Agogo. Right off the bat, it is a very sticky, heavy formula. It's almost hard to talk, so I'm just gonna not talk. We'll let it dry for the same time, 10 minutes. I love, would you set the timer for 10 minutes? 10 minutes of counting. Here I am removing it, otherwise I would have refilmed it, but please excuse the audio for this next little bit. I totally forgot to push record on my external microphone. It's just for a little bit, I promise. All right, it has been 10 whole minutes. And how are we looking? This is actually a really pretty shade. I'm quite impressed. Let's do the sticky test. Oh my God. It is so sticky. But I think it's fair that I try to set this just like I did with the real one. So I'm gonna take some Cody's Airspun Translucent Powder and dab a little bit on. I fucked up and definitely put way too much on so it kind of altered the color. But if you don't put too much on, it could definitely work. Like. It's pretty. Is it as high quality as cats? No, but it definitely is pretty. I mean, I think somebody could probably pass this off. Let's do the kiss test. Nothing there. And let's do the eat test. I got my apple. Nom 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 nom. There is none on the apple, but little flecks did seem to come up, but it's nothing like noticeable. Like there's no huge patches missing or anything. So I am very impressed. It's not coming off with just the makeup wipes, so that's like cats. And this one is actually a bit harder to remove than cats. So translate that into what you want, a good thing or a bad thing. All right, we are back with audio. I have no residue of any removers on my lips, so we can assure that this can dry. And I'm going to go in with the real Lolita now. Wait a second, I must put the fake one on. Where is the real one? Okay, now we have the real one. I can't even see anything. It's the exact same shade as my lips. I guess it's a little darker than my lips. It kind of gives them a more even tone. But for drying these a little faster, I'd come up with a stroke of genius. Ah! So I'm gonna give this two minutes on the cool setting on high. All right, we are done. That was interesting. Not the kind of blowing I'm used to. But it does feel the exact same as how a go-go felt, so I'm gonna put a little bit of translucent powder on it. There, beautiful. No stickiness at all. Feels great. Looks okay, looks just like my lips do. But no, I'm impressed. It's not tight. Feels good. Kia's test. Mm -hmm. Perfect. My feffle. Mm. 
Looks good. This one actually came off a lot easier than a go-go did, so I don't know if that means something to you, but it did. And of course, we'll make sure nothing is on them. Okay, now into the fake one. Still, a really pretty shade, but extremely sticky. Like, it feels like there's glycerin or corn syrup on my lips. But I will give it two minutes on the blow dryer, and we'll see what happens. Hey girl, remember that time I picked up the backdrop steamer to try to dry my lips? Yeah, that was about 30 seconds ago. Oh my god, uh -uh. so sticky. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and apply Cody's Airspun. All right, I think I've applied enough to make it not sticky. It did kind of make the color pale, but it's still really pretty, I think. It's definitely wearable. It's not lifting up, it's not patchy, it's not as vibrant as cats, but it's definitely doable. I think this is really pretty. Kissy kissy, mwah, mwah. Very good. Mm. A little bit came off in there, but not a whole lot, just a few little specks. I do have two other colors here that I do not have the real ones to, but I thought I'd swatch them for you. I have Lovesick and Noble. And here we go with Noble. All right, it is dried with translucent powder put on. I am impressed with this because it's a pretty shade, but I'm not impressed with the coverage. It's still um, translucent. It's kind of patchy, but it is a really pretty shade. I'm guessing if somebody probably put another layer on, it might look better. It's like 50-50 with me. And here we go in with Lovesick. All right, we are dry with translucent powder. What do you guys think? I think it's really pretty, like, I'm impressed. It's definitely better than Noble. I think it's because it's darker. Usually the darker colors tend to be more pigmented for some reason. I don't know why that is, not a chemist. But without ever having worn or seen Cat's real love sick, I'd say this is pretty dope, I like it. And there you go, that concludes this fake ass Cat Von D liquid lipstick video. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you all so much again for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.